So what we're going to do is listen to Dude Descending a Staircase, and then we'll talk about it. You can't quite hear it at the beginning. Poland's from startled cavalry horse to his death, the dull to her created by his gamma, or Dude Descending a Staircase. <laughs> What did you hear generally, Max? Uh, it's confrontational. It's uh, he's, he's sort of performing this this gruff character who's like, hey, he's in want something, I get, you know, that we can fight about. If you want something, I'll give you something. <laughs> yeah. If you're Edmund Torres performing this poem, dude descending a staircase, and you're going after somebody who's a dead ass, what, is he referring to Duchamp or the woman descending a staircase? Well, maybe instead of a noun. It's an adjective. Maybe he's he's using dead ass as dead ass serious because in a slang in a slang context, I'm dead ass serious. Dead ass. So it's an adjective. Yeah, could be. Well, I can give dead ass makes it either an adjective or a noun. So what is he trying to do? What's his relationship to do nude? What is what is dude descending a staircase saying to nude descending a staircase to the art to the movement to Duchamp to what to Cubism? What's he saying? Is this poem? Honoring Duchamp. Well, the, your fr bl the first blush has to say he's satirizing or critiquing, yeah. right? He's angry. He's well, who's he angry at if he's angry? I think maybe it's Duchampian in its spirit. Because wasn't Duchamp, it, with that painting and with the fountain, kind of giving a, you want art, dead ass? I'll give you art, you know. Definitely. In that, it's, it kind of has that spirit. Yeah. So, Lily, is he, is he standing parallel to Duchamp, making the same claim in his own mode? Or d is he fooling with the new Descending a Staircase mode? Honestly, I think um, he's trying to... I think the dead ass in the poem refers to new Descending a Staircase, like that it's ultimately still a flat representation and his medium is much more lively. So he's... Um, saying, well, you thought this was lively, but you want lively, I'll give you lively, yeah? I wonder if by saying dead ass is, is like a faux seriousness, he's trying to paint that cubist approach as sort of superficial and pretentious. And like, yeah, you want this, I can give you this, this, and this. And he's saying that's what this cubist tried to do, and, and be ultra-serious, take itself too seriously. Where does Edwin Torres so allegorize this as part of Mod Po poetic history? Where does, where does Edwin Torres stand in relation to the modernist breakthrough of Duchamp? It's hard to know, but take a guess. Emily, you can do it. He, you know, he comes after it. He's asking this revolutionary sort of piece of art to be more revolutionary, ultimately. I think also if he's, picking, if he's honoring the Duchampian move of picking something unartistic and making it artistic, the word mm -hmm. deadass is so unpoetic, mm -hmm. and he's smacking it smack in the middle of the poem and repeating it over and over. If we take the reference to Buccioni seriously and also the kinetic energy of this performance, right, um, how does, so we, let's assume that what Duchamp was doing was cubist, and let's assume that what Torres is doing is either a futurism or a critique of futurism. Let's do a little ratio. So nude descending a staircase is to dude descending a staircase as cubism is to futurism. Lily, can you take us from cubism to futurism? Um, what changes? Or maybe go to the other side of the ratio first. What changes between the Duchamp and the Torres? Um, well, it actually becomes... Uh, Torres becomes more... Well, it's performed like out loud. So, yeah, so that's a difference, yeah. And, um, Louder. And <laughs> there are more um, obvious... Like just by, it's hard to compare a, like a painting and a poem, but just by listening to it or just 
as opposed to just by looking at a paint, the poem, the painting, there's more to get immediately that's referential, even if it's garbled. So yeah, now, let's go take. again. In, in literary history, in the history of modernism, from new descending staircase to do descending a staircase. Lily? Well, what was so shocking about new descending a staircase was, I mean, this is like a horrible paraphrase of what was so shocking about it, but it was the fact that it was called a nude and then wasn't, and also that it seemed to suggest a very lewd scene um, of a naked woman walking down the stairs, just the title was very provocative, mm -hmm. and then the picture left you to sort of like imagine that scene, it was like a lot of movement, and so he's I, I interpret it as he's kind of saying like that's no longer shocking to me, and it's more familiarizing, um, it's either him calling uh, Duchamp dude, like dude, Possibly, the way yeah. in the context we or, were saying, or it's just saying like, there we have to find a different way to be shocking with our art than just by calling it nude. Just I mean, sense. my own feeling, Lily, is that it's it's the latter with some honor given to Duchamp, but wanting to take let's try a little more of a future. Let's see what would happen if we could masculinize this. Of course, then make it ironic and keep a distance because it's funny. Dude descending a staircase, Torres. So Torres is, is basically saying, what, what happened if the nude became a dude? And would we, would we have the same kinetic, and what would it be? Well, I can give deadass, you want deadass? Deadass, 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 cantini, deadass, contusion, deadass, school, schools. You want pasty deadass? There's, almost a, there's a way in which the dude gets to be kinetic, but much more masculine and much more violent. So it's like a futurist Duchamp. Okay, final words, what do you think? Dave? I'm still thinking about the alternative title about falling from a startled cavalry horse to his death. <laughs> so futurist. And, yeah, I mean, and it's a cavalry horse. You've got the masculinity in there. You've got to his death. You've got the commentary on, on you know, old forms. So I, I'm still mulling it about. Um, Maurice? Um, the structure of it seems like a conjugation to me, but the fact that it's so sort of profaned and with that interjection of a really confrontational challenge in there just shifts the tone entirely. And he's following the form, but kind of rejecting it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Emily? Yeah, it just sort of reminds me of the sort of funny opposition between nude and dude, because if nude has something erotic or maybe forbidden about it, it's still ultimately like a very idealized, very sort of, there's nothing body about a nude, I don't think, not in that sort of classic sort mm. of artistic sense. Yeah. And the, the dude, which is nothing but sort of ribald and vernacular and gross, is sort of the perfect response to that. Mm. Ellie? Um, yeah, it's also just, at least the performance of it is so, seems so un, there's no thought that comes before it, at least in the performance. It's just like, and this, and this, and this, and I'm just like saying everything that comes into my mind. Mm. Um, which, which is really is in the classic. spirit of the Duchamp in a way, yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool, Anna. I just, I just find it so funny and so, um, like I remember being surprised by it the first time I heard it. Um, and just the more I listen to it, the more uh, I just kind of like unabashedly enjoy it. Yeah. Lily, final thought? Um, I guess if Duchamp's new descending a staircase attempts to both criticize but also inevitably enacts the male gaze, then I think do descending a staircase, you can say it in a futuristic capital F way, it masculinizes the whole thing at, at play, but it also removes the female gaze entirely from the subject of the art. So in that sense, I see it as moving slightly forward from new descending a staircase. Brilliant. That's great. So um, there's some irony. I mean, he... Torres is really pushing himself pretty hard here to try to come up with something progressive by showing how regressive this can be. And that's really great, Max. And that idea of, of progress and regress, progressive, regressive, I think is kind of captured perfectly in this idea of the descent or the stumble or the fall or something, which I think is what we get in this performance. This kind of like, as Ali, you were saying a minute ago, there's this sort of like almost train wreck quality. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going and I can't stop. And I think yeah. it is this, it's not, it's not a fluid motion, it's not a forward motion, it's not an upward or downward motion, it's just like a crash. Yeah, <laughs> crash, crash. Yeah, that, that, that puts me in mind, for my final word, the, uh, the, the way in which the partially rift, maybe Im improvised, kinetic energy of this performance leads to a weird line which I think refers to Slobodan Milosevic. Slow-mo, you want slow-mo, Slobodan Milosevic? Uh -huh. 
So this is, I mean, I think future is, the fact that futurism can lead to genocide, to ethnic cleansing, um, this is the danger of the dude, I think. So all I have to say is, dude, dude. <laughs>